Oh, hello guys! Welcome to this video. Today we're gonna watch this th biggest, hardest NASCAR crash of 2020. If you didn't know, I like NASCAR, and that's why we're gonna look at it today. So my camera will not be that good. So yeah, yeah let's just get into this. Then the care center. Oh. Brian Newman came down, and everybody behind piles up. I saw a lot of rear tire spin on that restart. I think a lot of guys were struggling with grip, and they just start losing control. That was a hard one. That's a hard one. If you look at William Byron. And just a quick note. I'm sorry that I haven't posted out videos in a long time because I was pretty bu busy and my friend with my friends we were doing something so that's why we were so that I'm just gonna react to this but this was a hard one what happened here William Byron what happened William oh no oh the 19 gets turned around the wall and then the one of Kurt Busch involved and yeah, the four involved. Yeah, it was a big one. Let's look. We can hold it. Here. Oh, that's that's a bad one. Kevin Harvick also involved. In all those good drivers. Let's look here. It's the ten. Danica Patrick, almost, almost, almost. It wasn't much. It's interesting how, you know, he touches the six. He get, he starts spinning the wheels, losing control. Then the 24 starts losing control. Man, that's a bad. Yeah, the 24 came right into. Mm. I don't know what happened there, but. Um, it's like maybe the rear ender. Or, yeah. It must be something. Like, is it a rear ender? Because he was like, after a caution or the green flag in the air, this happened. Like, it's very. This is a bit not not that big, but yeah. Well, we must look at this. That was. Yeah. Wait, look, 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 like, okay. Okay, we'll even go a replay. Almost turn him again, bro. What is happening? With oh, now he goes around. I knew that will happen. Oh, that is bad. I mean, oh, the 48 of Jimmy Johnson must be out after this wreck. Dude, this is a big. This is a big one. How's it going there, Jimmy? How's it going? Man. Not good at all. Look at the 22 of Lugano. He's like involved like the whole thing. Look at it. Ah, and he even has grass on his. <laughs> look, 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 look. Almost get turned. No, that's just. Look at that 14 of Boyer also involved. And the 9, the 9, you, the, this not, that 9 car actually survived it. The 9, but I mean, you could blame Chase Elliott to that he did that, but anyways. All the four, the 22, one involved, I mean, yeah, that's the 11, Denny Hamlin, yeah. Man. But it just 
Jimmy Johnson doesn't have a good time. Boom. Caution is out. Oh, the 14 didn't even have good luck, too. Okay. Oh, we go, sir. No, no, my Jeski upside down. My Jeski. No, oh, my Jeski, why are you upside down? Who caused that wreck? Like, who caused it? These truck races are like going crazy. And there you can see that yellow flag. The yellow flag up there. That, uh, look, look, look here. Okay. It looks like, yeah, he, he, yeah, he got in his rear end or 34 on him. I don't see the number there, but uh, it, it was the, I think the 13 or, yeah, I think it was the 13 or 12, I, I don't know if the 12 is, is in the truck racer. But Majeski upside down and it sucks to be you. Majeski, we need to pray for him. Let's look here, a little bit closer. Yeah, that that's what happened. Yeah, he got turned around so fast that he even got like upside down and that will have cost a yellow flag. <laughs> but it will also have cost it without him being upside down. But it sucks to be him. Yep, here's the push, here's the push. Yeah, in him, bam, and then they go around. Oh, the 22 was also pretty close to get turned around. So it was the 22 who got loose. 22 was also very close to go like Majeski, but as luck, he didn't go upside down. Majeski doesn't have a good time. And this is a long video, just so you know, this is a very long video. So, respect. Man, you can hear them. I wish I had my remote here so I could turn up the volume. I'll come back later. Okay, I'm back. And uh, let's go. Okay, so now I have another wreck. Okay. They're going three wide for a lead. That will, of course, cause a wreck when it's uh, in truck races. Man, it's like only side by side at Daytona and three wide at the uh, Talladega. That's like the only thing that works in truck races. But they have sometimes actually cleared, but it's like pretty hard to get three wide and do it. But maybe it works. Like for me, when I watch those three wides, they all like always cause a wreck. Man. Who caused that wreck? Say it in the comments if you know who caused that this wreck. Look. Yeah, you can all uh, already see it here. But you can guess what the name, or just say the number because he, if you don't know the name, who caused that wreck? It could be not the ninety-eight. It could be the ninety-nine. Maybe he, yeah. Could be the 98, it could be in the 99. And I already know the answer, so look at that car. You must look at this wreck, bro. Look at those. Go. The 13 also involved Johnny Sauter, the legend that truck races for me, then. Man, that is wreck. Okay, yep, that's it. The 51 involved, the, all of them. Oh, yes. Gregson, oh, we have a wreck. Oh, yes. Oh, Sinrik is also around. In the wall. 
Mmm, big hits. From Austin Cedric. This is like, yeah. Yeah, push the nine, and then there, he's gonna come there. He's gonna push him. And then he's gonna, oh, it makes them go in like a row, and that's gonna make, to cause that wreck. Oh, I understand how this, this wreck happened. It, I see that. Look, he comes in there. Then they go like so much tight, like that. Then he must go in there, and that's gonna cause the wreck. He goes right in that. I don't know. Yeah, the 22 goes right in the field again. Yep, these wrecks sucks, bro. They were actually doing very good racing. I saw it, but now then after this, it's not. I'm not that. I'm not like you know. I'm not like those wrecks. I know how NASCAR is. I mean, but when Dale Earnhardt sir SRs crash, I mean. Oh jeez, that's that was weird. Yep, he got he got wrecked. Yeah. Yep, that is not. Whoa, we have a wreck at here at Daytona 500. The big, oh, that's actually a big one. Well, Ryan Newman actually died. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, he didn't die, but he got very seriously injured. In trying to win it for the first time, all torn up. Bubba Wallace, Eric Almarola, one of the fastest boards in this entire field, and here's Martin Truex who couldn't get back to the lead pack and gets all torn up. Smoke out yeah, the that's not a tire problem for no. the 18 to Kyle Busch. Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, yeah, he's, yeah, well, let's see how this was made. I think the two or something, or the 95. Yep, that's what happened. I knew it. There's a little bit of movement, and that little bit of movement, when you make that much contact, turns your car right around. That's exactly what happened to Brad Keselowski and the 10 of uh, Amarola. And that happens right in front of most of the field. And that really all started with a big push from Joey Logano. Remember Joey Logano talking on the radio earlier about, you got to tell me when I'm pushing that car and it's going to make contact with the car in front of us. Well, that happened right there with his teammate. Here's our Ford onboard camera with Logano. Man, my, my, my hands are a little bit shaky, shaky. So respect that. But if you want to see this video or something, yeah. This is just me reacting to it. So if you want to see this video, the name is... Wait, let me just... The name for this is... Biggest and Hardest NASCAR Crashes of 2020 Part 1. Uh, if you want to see this thing. And uh, yeah. And the 8th of Hemrick. Come on. Don't. Yeah. I mean, not Hemrick. Reddick. Sorry. I think about that other. Yeah. He, how did he, though, get. Austin Dillon uh, died in uh, 2015 with his car. When he got airborne right in there! And there's Reddick, there, yeah. Man, this was on the night. Yep, here we go! That was Ross Chastain got down on the apron, turned him sideways up the racetrack. Straight into Ryan Priest. Chastain involved. Another multi-car pileup. 
Man, they told the 500 was wild. They told the 500 was wild. Like, it was for a lit. So wild. Look at this. Look at. Look at Ross Chastain. He has big damage. And 37 of Ryan Priest also. He died at. He died at Kansas. He died. I, I mean, not died like that, but his car died. Like at Kansas. If you saw that near flip. If you watched Kansas, it, that. He, like. Man, that was. Man, that was. Wild. Too. Whew, these car crash, these crashes are like, yeah, boom, right in Logano. That car must have minor injuries. The car must have minor injuries. As big of an impact as what we see some of these other cars because of the damage, but when you get right into the driver's side door and then the passenger side door goes to the wall. And uh, I may also, like, I think Monday, like yesterday, I mean, tomorrow, uh, I will also make a video, I will drive at Daytona with my custom car, if it works, because I don't know directly if it's gonna work, but I hope it, but this, yeah, he got right, oh, look, I know that is hard in the wall. That must. He must have some pain, man. Let's see how this crash was. May boom. Yeah, it's in the wall. But the wall is actually finally got out from that crash. Yeah, he got it. It's gonna get in there, wow. You have no choice. You just can't lift. And there was only half a car width of room there, and he tried to take it. He's made it to pit road. As the field circulates under yellow, teams are allowed to work on the cars. Four for the final time. Blaney to the outside. This is this is Newman. Look, he's gonna die. His car is dead. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof. Ryan Newman comes across the line, fourth, and comes man. to rest. Oh, man. But he was... But how did he actually survive that? You know, Corla Joyce Cole came right at where he was sitting. How did he even survive that? How did he survive that? Corey, Le but I mean, Corey Joy didn't have anywhere to go. At least he crossed the finish line. Newman got turned, went up in the air as he came down, was hit by another car, and launched skyward. Yeah, if you don't know what car it was, it was Corey LaJoy. Exactly. The AMR safety team is there quickly to attend to Ryan Newman. Man, that's bad. And Hamlin is very happy because he won. A fist pump from Denny Hamlin, who has won the Daytona 500 for the second year Aww. in a the inside, they lock, lock Boom, there, and, and he wins. Upside down he goes. Corey LeJoy coming along and making contact. Blaney well, tried the top side, yep. tried to get low. Ryan Newman goes around. The car goes to its roof, and here's the look. That it goes on there. So his head. I mean, how did he survive with those minor injuries? I mean, what? Boom! Here we can see in another cam. Yeah, that was bad. He at least came to the finish line after Corey Joy. So they should take it. Or not. It will not be the white flag. Backing up through the field, there was contact among several drivers, and we are under caution. The race is not over. 
It's not the final lap. It's actually under caution. I mean, this. I mean, when I watched it, I was like, "Oh, now it's final lap. Now no one can wreck." And when they wrecked, I was like, "No." I mean, it should not be, but. It was, and after, I mean, uh, that this crash wasn't that, like, you know. Here we go. Oh, right hard into the wall. Oh, that's hard, that's hard, that's hard, that's hard. Man, why did he have his hands on his uh, helmet? I don't know. He could have just got on the wheel. I don't know. In the first 155 laps, we've had six cents. Caution three cautions. You'll see it time and time again, especially on a track like this. You can tell that he's, he's having a yep. tough time. Yep. This is good. The there. This is not. You get loose right here, moving up the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. I see. Now, a lot of damage out of Harrison Burton. I think he'll be okay right there. Let's see Justin Haley. I mean, sometimes we, we see these wrecks and you think massive impact, and from a driver's perspective, it wasn't that bad. And there's other times they don't look out. Oh, uh, that and is really like how? Yeah, I, I mean, it was pretty much his fault that he came up to them. I mean, and yeah, and uh, if we look at Justin Haley, you really are just along for the ride and at the mercy of what's happening around you, and, and you see the hands up there. Why why not hang on to the steering wheel in that situation, Clint? Everybody kind of does that differently. Uh, uh, everybody, I was going to say it. Everybody has a little bit different uh, perspective and opinion on that. I'm always, man, I try to drive. I keep driving. I, I guess it's yeah. my natural instinct is trying to trying to drive that thing out of it, no matter what the case may be. But honestly, as we keep beefing up the front suspension in these cars, the drag links and everything, that's all, all not getting stronger and stronger. Good. And yeah, I know this is a long video, but I mean, reacting to crashes, I mean, this is the thing. But if you want to look at this video, just, you can just go YouTube, just search biggest and hardest NASCAR crashes 2020 part, and then you do the, yeah, part one. Oh, Stenhouse is of course gonna crash. Yes, of course. He's gonna crash. Is even. Oh. Is the all star race. That means Curry is also in here. I mean, Curry. It's uh, 53. Um, he's Curry. He only did this. So. He was in this one because Smithley, I don't know, he couldn't, like, do it, so Curry did it instead of Smithley. Let's watch it. Yeah, okay, no, that wasn't, like, Stenhouse's fault. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, why did you do that? Yeah, yeah, look, he, want, he spun him out. Yeah, he spun him out. And he actually tried to avoid it, Stenhouse. I mean, Stenhouse isn't that one that who likes to wreck. Like, it isn't that one that who likes to wreck. 
As for Stenhouse, he actually tries to not break, but he is very unlucky. So that's why. Oh, that's pretty heavy damage for Kurt Busch. Yeah, Tyler Reddick got into the back of Kurt Busch. And caution is out. 24 of Chase Elliott is involved, I guess. Okay, Moffitt is involved, yes. I see that. Man, truck races, I mostly watch them, but... I mostly watch the Cup Series, but Truck Race Series, I sometimes... Oh, I mean, I just watch highlights. So I know some of the drivers, not all of them. I mean, Eckes, their Kraus, Kraus, um... Elliot, uh, is he, yeah, Elliot, uh, Moffitt, Crafton, Johnny Sauter. And yeah, others. John Hard name a check. I don't know all of them. I'm not that good. I only watch highlights, so I'm not I don't know all of them. But this crazy is... Whoa, 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 what wait, how do they crash when they're going single file and they're like keeping it like all the time? How? This that's just Dirt involved, Cindric involved, Brown, Haley, Justin Haley. Yes it is. Um yeah, but uh, it's 92, the 20, the, yeah. I want to see those window nets yeah. dropping down, and there it is for Burton. Okay, let's look here. Oh, they just yep. all stacked up. Aha, they were, oh, okay, they were going side by side, that's why. They were going side by side, that's why, how did they cause that with. wreck, well, and, what happens uh, is when everybody's uh, running yeah. single file like that, the line starts to accordion. Yeah, and it accordions at the worst at the end of the straightaway. So drivers check up at the end of the straightaway. Uh, if you can time it or, or plan for it, you lift earlier on the straightaway. But sometimes it catches you by surprise, and, and you see it there where everybody stacked up. And, and again, you're looking in your mirror because you're wanting to make sure that. The yep, they're going side by side. That's, so that's why how they caused that wreck. Man, that's a big hit. Josh Williams took a hard hit in that front tire on the driver's side. But when you consider the impact it would have been for Harrison Burton head first oh, in the wow. ground, yeah. he wasn't there. Yeah. That, that, that could have been so, so difficult. Behind this stack in there. That's not good. Kind of anticipate this is going to happen. Man, look at, look, look at these cars. Look at this. Such a fast car and he's been such a good pusher. Oh, that is, this is the big one. This is the big one. At Talladega. What? What? Fincham involved? I don't know. I please. I mean, maybe saw him. Yeah, he got involved. He got involved. Fincham got involved. Oh uh, yeah, smoking very much. Yeah, that one is unrepairable in the five minute clock. He's not gonna make it. Two thousand series champion. Yeah. And this is not a good one. Ow. This is not a good one. Allgaier. What happened there with Allgaier? Or Shastain? Yeah, it was Shastain. It was Shastain. No, it's not just It was okay. nine. Okay, I think the nine is Gregson. Yeah, so in my opinion, I, I I think what happens is Ross there goes to make a move to the inside, and it looks like Noah was going to get to his outside. Noah, Ross pulls Gregson. Back up to block yeah, 
and Justin ends up on Noah's left rear quarter panel, which is a terrible That's spot. Not, so you Chastain, yeah, you right it was good yeah, that Chastain actually. I'm, I'm with you. It looked to me like when Ross moved up, Noah maybe had to check up the Did the, the 11 get involved? Like I don't see. Bumpers, I think he didn't. Did. Down, I think he saved. No, he got involved, but he saved it. Let's listen in. Half an hour have gone in this thing. And I hope you still enjoy to see me. I got my camera like this sometimes, and I'm sorry to do that, but I'm like looking at the TV and not focusing at my mobile. So. Did you see the hood on Noah's car come up? It looked like it was destroyed, and then it laid right back down. So and the yellow flag is out. Sliding through there in the 68, got heavy damage. Yeah, you see here, Ross Ross has cheated down a little bit. Austin pulls down as well. Ross pulls back up. Yep, Noah Gregson is denying. He run and wants to get to his outside. And he pulls up to block it. it ends up stay. what happened? Like, how did they, they even do that? How did they even cause that wreck? Let's hear what they said on the radio of Ross Chastain was right in front of that duo from JRM. On board with Chase Briscoe, who had the damage earlier. That is bad. From the point of view. I want to just see how long it's left. Yep, it's not much. It's just eight minutes. Whoa, that's trouble. At Pocono. Boom, that sucks. And yeah, I mean, now we're just going to Xfinity. I don't know when we're going to other, like, not only Xfinity, I also want to go to NASCAR Cup Series, but... Who's good on fuel, who's not? These caution laps gonna be huge. Just out front. Out front. Right, yeah. exactly. He's saving as much as he can right now. Okay, Noah Gregson is like going in all of these wrecks it's all the time. The Noah the Gregson line. is always going to wreck. I'm gonna see another replay of that from another angle. What a move by the one of Michael Nett to get through all that. He was right in the middle of where it all uh, was happening. You could see 39 of seed. Also involved. Yeah, that's that. That's of course going. Uh, yeah. Kona turn two. Yep. Of course, this is going to happen, and um, yeah. And then here's the, here's the next move, and that's the one that causes the wreck. Yeah, but it looks like the, uh, yeah, the 9 is, right and the 7 of Olga are involved, you could say he saved it. Stefan Parsons in the 99. And, and Ryan Sieg, you know, once again, wrong. Car fell off big time. Oh, pit stop. We talked about how narrow it was, and look at this. They're piled up at the end of pit road. Piled up. There's like. What happened there? 48, 37, you see in there? What? What? And what? Oh, the, yes, Allgaier was also in this wreck, I think. Yes, yes. Oh. Man, that's bad. Okay, let's see here. All of you, look at this. Look at this pit crew. Some of, some one of the pit crew. Actually, look, look, look. Bam. Boom. Someone at the pit crew. Look. Yeah. Look here. He got involved. Bam. You could, if you will see here. And the amazing thing is he crawled out of there and was getting out of the way moments ago. Uh, responding to his crew, he said, I'm all right, but you could tell he was trying to catch his breath. 
flames rolling out from the right front of that car. Set to the replay. Oh man! Hard in the wall. The twenty of Eric Jones hard in the wall. And uh, yeah, it, it, maybe we'll do some of these reactions again, but maybe some takeouts instead of like these ones. So maybe we'll do some takeouts from every season. Man, these uh, caresses are wild. Man, wild. I mean, wild. Oh, 11 goes in the wall. He's gonna. He needs to catch his breath now. Hamlin, catch your breath. Please. Yep, catch your breath, Hamlin. Because what every time you like if you go hard in the wall in the Indiana police, then you always need to catch your breath. Because they these walls are not like normal. They're I mean it's the brickyard speedway. That's why you need to catch your breath every time you go on the wall. Hard. That's a bad one. Dang. In the wall. And we see some fire. Well, it's not like, you know, fire that should, like, spread. It's just, like, from the car. It's, like, not like it's going to spread around, so... Oh, I saw how that happened. He got, got on something when he was in, you know, in the turn. It was something on the floor that made him go right in the wall. Yep. I saw. I see that. I know how this was made. Well, I watched this race um, already. But some reason I haven't watched, and that's why I'm watching them now. As a driver, you come by and you see this, or as a crew chief, you see this, and now you have to perhaps change. Good for him. Stuck with his plan, right? Everybody was questioning. Oh, big crash. Big crash. He is out. And Austin Sender, for the first time in 2020, is a winner. He gets it done at Kentucky. Earlier in the race, the 22 car got up in that. When he got up at where that sheen is in that uh, traction compound, it's like they couldn't react. Man, Kentucky. This is like Ryan Priest's crash, but in another way. Man. That's all, and I think that, yeah, this is the last crash, too. So, his brother Dylan shares time in that race car. Yeah, good family operation from up in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. 